Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm in Las Vegas for the CES 2024 show where I'm checking out the latest in consumer tech, which is either AI based, robotic, or if we're talking about new TVs, see-through. But I know what you care about is what's in my tech bag. What have I brought to CES to make this whole trip productive and enjoyable? What I thought I'd do though, rather than just show you what's in my bag, I'll show you what's in someone else's bag as well. You know this guy, I've been on his channel, it's his turn to come on my channel, and well, let's get straight into it. Every product you see in this video is linked below. What up? Hello Patrick. Hey, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> I love what you've done with the place. Ah, uh, this is, uh, yeah, I spend hours and days and weeks uh, decorating and, you know, designing of, the place. Yeah, hell of a view as well. Yeah. We won't say which hotel we're in, we but... Feng Shui did. Patrick, I want to go through your bag in yes. a minute, but we'll go through mine first. First thing to talk about is this. Moft, you're a Moft guy, aren't you? Ah, we know Moft. Uh, have you brought any Moft stuff with you? I, I'm not Mofting this time. Not Mofting this time. Two things to show you. The first thing is this. Have you seen this? Uh, I haven't. Which looks fairly innocuous, but it's actually a... Well, firstly, it's a MagSafe accessory, so it fits on the back of your phone like that. But it's got three different modes. It's called the tripod. The reason it's called the tripod is you can flip it out like this. Ooh. And you end up with, we haven't got a service here, but you can add that obviously to your, to your surface and away you go. Very cool. Really handy if you're shooting B-roll for stuff and, and that kind of thing. You can vlog with it as well, so you can flip it around, walk about and vlog. Ooh, look at that. Nice. And these, these modes have got names, which I always forget, so I'll put them down, down below. The other option, obviously, you can then flip it out like that and you've got a nice little stand for your iPhone. Mm. Really, really convenient. I can't live without that. When I'm traveling, it's just so handy to have something where you can do proper vlogging. Stands are really cool. It's just this one is cooler because it folds down like a credit card. Yeah, and it's it's so um, like compact as well. So once it's folded down like that, it, you just don't feel it in your pocket yeah, at all. It's smaller than a battery. Amazing. I love Moft stuff. So that's that's the Moft tripod. Moft are also very kindly sponsoring this video, which I should have said at the start, but I'll say that now. And the other thing that I can't live without with Moft, I either have that on the back of the phone or this. Now I think you've got one of these, haven't you? Ah uh, yes. So this is very the yeah, OG. The OG. So the, the same thing. It's MagSafe sits onto the back of your phone, and you can sit, I think you can get two cards in there, can't you? Yeah. I've only ever got my gym card in there, but you can get two. Hotel card, perfect. Perfect, exactly. It's one of those things, if I don't have that on the back of the phone, I miss it massively. Hmm. So Moft, thank you very much for sponsoring the video, and I can't live without your stuff, it's brilliant. I know you're a Harbour London man as well. I love those guys. The it's, leather is just amazing. It really is. They're not cheap at all. I, I always have to give that caveat, really, but when you spend four and a half thousand pounds on a laptop like I have done, that sort of thing is absolutely. I was amazing. just gonna say that is not cheap stuff that we're using, and uh, you get what you pay for. These are really, really good. Now we're both fourteen-inch people, now, aren't we? We're fourteen, 14 inches. Yeah, <laughs> as you, as you, there's the, uh, the show title. This is nearly all out, but it's the sixty-four gig of, of unified memory M3 Max, and it's great. It's, it's just so expensive. It's, yeah, that's the biggest it's problem with it. It's expensive, to be honest, but it's our main tool. It is, and the difference between this and the sixteen-inch. The sixteen-inch was. I've made lots of jokes about it, but it's genuinely a pain to carry around. Whereas the difference in size and weight with this compared to that one's massive. Mm. So that is the laptop of choice during this trip and every trip that I go on now. One thing I completely forgot to mention while speaking to Patrick was the iPad mini. I use this all the time in Vegas, mainly for taking notes. And the reason that was so easy and so convenient is because of the Paperlike screen protector. Paperlike are very kindly supporting this video and I couldn't be without it. It does what it says on the tin. So basically it protects your screen, obviously, but it doesn't dull the colors, which is very important. The most important thing though, really, is the fact that it turns the screen into a paper-like surface. So if, like me, you're spending a lot of time scribbling stuff down on your iPad, it's an absolute no-brainer. And if you're worried about the application process, don't be. I've put so many paper likes on iPads and I've never screwed it up. If you haven't tried paper like yet, you are missing out. There's a link below. I don't know why I'm wearing this hat, but anyway, back to Vegas. Let's talk about phones very quickly. The main daily driver is the iPhone 15 Pro Max which again, I think you're an iPhone 15. We've got a lot of the same gear, haven't we? Yeah, if it's good, it's good. <laughs> exactly. However, I've always got an Android phone with me, and this time it's the S23 Ultra. I still think this has got the best display of any of, of any smartphone on the market. Headphones, Beat Studio Pro, and I'm, I'm so boring about headphone cases, but this the main reason I carry these around is, is because of this, which is the case, obviously. As headphones, they do the job. They're not spectacular in terms of sound and the fit is, is a very um, subjective thing they, they don't bother my ears at all I know you've had a you've know, you mentioned you've had a few issues with them in terms of being a bit 
too much clamping force and that kind of stuff. Beats get a lot of stick for their sound and for all that sort of stuff, but they've really matured with those. So And they really went down in price. They did massively, yeah. Yeah, yeah hugely. Big time. Next up, this is fairly boring, but I'm, I'm, I'm boring about it, so I might as well Don't tell on. me that's an MX Master 3. This is an MX oh Master 3. I, I might as well just leave this close. <laughs> <laughs> we got all the same stuff, basically. Pretty much. So it's the MX Master 3 S, which is the one with the... Not the click, basically. Um, I got the white one, which I, I yeah. do regret a little bit because it's getting a bit grubby. I don't know if you found that with yours. Have you got a white one? Or have you, yeah, uh, yellow. Have you got this case, though? Uh, yeah, I might, might have the same case, yeah. Oh, God. At least very Just similar. Finish the video here, shall we? <laughs> um, Well, it's an endorsement for all this stuff. That's, that's what I'm I'll say about To be fair, that. it is. But I, I still haven't found a mouse that's better than this. No, it's, uh, ergonomically, it's just the best. So this is my... Um, but now, I've got you to thank for this, because this is the Grams 28. Uh, it's not yeah. the City Pack, it's the smaller one. I'll put the name of the, the actual model down below. You put me onto these, and they're just... Um, they're lovely, aren't they? It's, it's just a, a lovely thing. They are, and they look good. I think they're... So most times sling bags, uh, I don't really like the way they look. No. These are very, very good looking. So in here, we've got, in terms of charging, because when you're walking around convention centers and you know, we, we come from different locations where we don't have the same plugs, you do need a lot of battery packs. Mm. Uh, Anchor is the battery pack of choice for me. Basically, it's a, obviously a battery uh, power bank, uh, USB-C, USB-A, but it's got this loop here as well, which is handy for hanging off things, but it's also a cable, so you can pull that out stick that into your phone mm. and away you go. And it's got a lovely little uh, display on it as well. So you press that and it gives you the, the amount remaining. I think every power bank should have that. So useful. And if you plug it in, it tells you how long it's, it's gonna take to charge. That's cool. It's very useful. Again, if you're traveling, you wanna know how long it's gonna take, it's great. This is the uh, another Anchor Power Bank, much smaller. So I tend to take this around with me if I'm walking around the convention center and that sort of stuff. But flick up the little USB-C, plug that into the bottom of your phone. Does that work with the well, case? Yes. It does, yeah, it works. Yeah, it's a really good question. Let's, let's do it. I should note that the um, the case on the iPhone is the Grams 28 case. Uh, but yeah, it does, it goes straight in. Oh, that's cool. Again, in terms of charging stuff, and if you've seen this, this is Banks three-in-one charger, so it's got... You're gonna laugh later. You've got this as well. Not the same one, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so literally, you unfold it like that, and then you've got on the bottom, you've got the charging uh, space for your AirPods Pro. Flick out the little one for your Apple Watch at the back sits on there, then you've got a MagSafe charger on the top. But it all folds down like that. Again, for traveling, it's just Those things are good. brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I've been using, so SanDisk, a, a very quick disclaimer. I bought these SanDisks two and a half years ago. I know, I'm very, I'm very aware of the fact that SanDisk have had fairly bad press over the last uh, sort of 18 yeah. months or so. I shouldn't say this, but touch wood has never let me down. Obviously cameras play a big role in what we do, and uh, again, We've both got the same camera here. It's the Sony ZV-E1, which I think is possibly one of the best cameras I've ever bought. Anyway, that's me, but we'll magically get shot of all this stuff and then cut to you. Yeah, I brought my fancy bag this time because uh, as you can see, I have a ridiculously over the top room, but that's uh, I did that for a reason, for a video that I'm doing. Cool. So um, I, because it's a bigger bag, I could bring more stuff. Well, maybe we start with a case. This is a leather case. Like you said, it's a... Uh, very expensive equipment, so you don't want to skimp out on the on the case. This is by Woolnut. Nice. It's a uh, very nice leather, and because the zippers are sort of uh, yeah on the outside, it doesn't scratch your MacBook. Okay. Nice. Got some compartments here that I don't use, but you could. The MacBook Pro, same color as you, I think. It's the uh, space black. Has space to be. black. Yeah. Obviously, it's a uh, 14 inch because I don't like 16 inch for traveling, and when I'm in my studio. I hook it up to my uh, external display anyway. A bit of editing in a hotel room, it's fine. I can just, you know, it's, I, I can manage. I have these, so I basically, I, I, I stopped using the, the Beats. As you can see, I have a different case. I don't like the bag because, uh, sorry, the case because it looks like a handbag, that's one, but also because it doesn't really protect much. This one does, obviously. Uh, again, by Woolnut, it's padded, it's leather, it's really nice. A hole in here so you can charge them while they're in the case. And because there's magnets in there, it also puts them to sleep, so they go into low power mode. I'm not sure about the green, Patrick. That's uh, the thing. That's you don't like it? Personal preference. But yeah, I like the green. Then we have a little Nintendo Switch. Okay. Uh, I've been using the uh, ROG Ally, but for traveling, I, I like this one better because it's very small, and uh, there's uh, two games I'm playing, Mario, the, the new Mario game, the platformer, because, you know, I'm old and nostalgia. And then the other one is uh, Dave the Diver, and you really don't need an, an ally for those kind of games. I've not actually held one of these before. It has a really it. nice screen. Nice. It's uh, yep. Well, it's OLED, so it looks better, but also 
Uh, it's nice and big. Then uh, we have... Uh, it's a very similar case, I guess, to yours. It's, it looks a bit posher than mine. It's some no-name uh, uh, case from Amazon. I think it was like 12, okay. 12 uh, euros. Is um, there any YouTuber who doesn't use the... I mean, there shouldn't be a YouTuber that doesn't use this. This is just the best mouse for editing. That's well, arguably, they're not YouTubers if they're not using it. If, if they haven't got an MX Master 3, then they, they well, can't Well, I think you need YouTubers. this and an IKEA uh, FICA plant, otherwise uh, you, can't, you can't be a YouTuber. Yeah. I bought two of those because two or three occasions where I went home and left that in the studio. And I'm not joking, I had to drive to go and get it. I, yeah. It felt like my limb, one of my limbs was missing. Absolutely. Speaking of missing limbs, I have another thing here. That's a nice bridge. This thing here, it's the uh, tour box. This is an old one, and it comes with a cable. It's a controller for editing, so you can. So they're all mappable buttons, so you can actually use this uh, for Photoshop, but also for Final Cut. I have this in one hand, and I have the MX Master in the other hand, and I barely ever touch the keyboard because I mapped all my keys, like cutting, pasting. This is great. This is a good thing. See, I, I get that kind of stuff occasionally, and love using it for two or three weeks, but then I never carry on using it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Does but it stick? With this one, it's different. I mean, the thing is, there's a little bit of a learning curve, so you have to give it time. But once you're used to it, it's like you can't go back. Obviously, the iPad mini. I want to say a few words about this skin because this is called the Bulletproof Banana. It's made by Dbrand and they stopped making it maybe a year and a half ago. Everybody, literally everybody on my channel that sees this iPad is asking me, where did you get that case? Yeah. And it's not a case, it's a skin. Where did you get the skin? I tell them, and I have to tell them they don't make it anymore. It's a carbon One. fiber, it's yellow. I love this thing. One more thing before we get into the little pouch is this thing. I know it's a camera, but I think it's really cool if you're a techie uh, and you're not necessarily a camera nerd because this is really plug and play. It's a DJI, uh, what's it called? Pocket 3, Osmo Pocket. Yep. You just flip the screen. I don't know if you can see that. And it will turn on and it will uh, center itself. It's a gimbal, so you, can, you cannot mess up your shots. It's uh, extremely steady. It moves. You can lock the target, you can set it down and have it track you. And the cool thing about this is that you can also switch this thing to vertical and uh, shoot your Instagram stuff. And what's interesting, I've seen loads of those at CES. Yeah. No end of people. Very popular. The, that versus carrying yeah, these sort of cameras around is, yeah, is brilliant. I, I brought only this yesterday. Finally, we have the little tech pouch, which is also by, uh, no, this is Harbor London. Yes. I was going to say Woolnut. They are two of my favorite brands when it comes to leather accessories. Grams 28 too. This one is an ugly green, the same color as the, yeah, that one. I like the color, mind. actually. I always bring these, even though I brought my Maxis. Yep. Uh, because sometimes I just um, enjoy using these more. I don't want anything on my head. Then we have this little um, Ugreen dongle. I always bring it because Ethernet, sometimes you can get Ethernet in the hotel room. Wi-Fi usually sucks. Mm. And uh, so, yeah, having this with me is, uh, is useful and also USB-A ports. Then we have this. It's also Ugreen. It's 160 watt. It's new. Um, I did a video, I think, recently on this, um, this new drop. Uh, this is a Pro line. It's a Nexode Pro. You can power your uh, MacBook with it. The Pro, the 16 inch, mm -hmm. does it all, plus a bunch of other stuff, and it will still juice everything at the same time. Nice. Really cool. Super small because it's a GAN charger. It's a gallium nitride, and it needs almost no cooling, so you have a very small housing around it. The CU Green also. Um, 145 watts it is, I think, which is a lot for a power bank, mm. uh, which means you can also power your MacBook with it. It charges it about once or uh, one and a half times. The, I, I told you you're going to laugh because it's the exact same thing pretty much that you have. It's a different brand. This one is made by Kushu. It, you, it's spelled Kuxiu, but Kushu, I think, is the Chinese pronunciation. It's the same principle, so you just pop this one out for your Apple Watch. You can charge your phone here and your AirPods here. This one has, the Apple Watch one has five watts instead of three. Okay. And um, for the Apple Watch Ultra, that means fast charging. Thanks for showing me inside your bag and inside your room as well, Patrick. It's, it's my, great. my that, that I designed. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put links to all of the products down below. And I think if you've still got a bit of time and you fancy wa watching the video we did well over a year ago where I came to Patrick's studio and we went through our, our bags then, it's, it, they have changed. It is, it is, it's worth watching because, yeah. yeah, they are different. So I'll put a link to that video at the end of this one. But cheers, Patrick. Thank you.